Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, but ever so slightly better when Leaf Leaf Candid Gauntlets. I don't know what that means, but I know what it means in practice, which is a bunch of flyers to fight. A bunch of them over here. Uh Thief to stop from getting to a village that I'm closer to than he is for some reason. Uh, a couple archers, a couple mercs, and even though you can't see it, a bunch of calves, and of course, the one and only original raisins. How are you doing, man? Doing quite well. Looking at this team, I see we brought back, uh, not to not to diss your prior team or whatever, but you know I, I can see we brought back the the good people. I don't know how else to put it. Wait, <laughs> like, wait, we got Rosado wait. back. <laughs> I did bring back Rosado. I brought back. Let me see what I brought back. I brought Barche and Odin again because I can't stop myself from loving them. Uh, mm -hmm. I got Oscar back on the team. He's been AFK for a little bit. Um, Akaya's still here to get to level ten. Uh, I brought Queen because I couldn't resist myself. Uh, Rosado. Let me skip Lynn for a second because there's something interesting about her. Rosado, Basilio, julian has got to open a door. Uh, Altena is here along with Har. I thought I might bring them both, seeing as the enemy brought like six flyers. I thought I was entitled to three. Mm -hmm. uh, Dorothy, because Walt had last chapter. Pandreo for some warp shenanigans should we need it. And there's something weird about Lynn, right? Remember how I bought a new bow for uh, forging the iron bow last chapter to Porthia, which is on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right now? I got so much value out of it because now I have two of them. No and way. I don't have a Monte Cotti anymore. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Some kind of bug occurred. Uh, I talked about it with Rat, who created this ROM for me. And it turns out that he might have used a Forge weapon slot for uh, uh, one of the personals, in this case, the Monte Cotti. I don't know exactly how it happened. He's looking into it as we speak. Uh, but that means I don't have a Manikati right now, which I was 100% going to forge for you here today. But now I have two Portheas instead. It will be really hard to get both down to one use <laughs> in this game. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what? Now now I look like an extra fool because it turns out you got even, you get it, you got an extra use out I of got your Iron Bow purchase. Even. One extra use for, what is it, 400 gold. But it's okay right. because it happened to the one character that can reclass into a different class. Oh, seriously? Boom. Oh, yeah, she's allowed to go. No way. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> Let me. I need to get. Oh wait, can I even do that? Can I do that? Wait, wait, I actually don't know if I can do that because I don't have an archer slot open. Yeah, right, so character funny. limit. I mean, okay, what if you just like take a uh, like a random archer not using? And just, I like, guess. If it, but, but I can't reclass Wolf. I'd have to reclass Dorothy to murmur. Wait, what? Oh, what? Wait, Which hold on. Can impossible. you not? Can you? Where, where, where can the women go right now? Can any of them go like mage or something? Well, the thing is, reclassing is disabled except for um, female murmur not to female archer. That's it. That's the only two options you have. Oh. But normally they could go you mage, yes. Normally that would be a solution. Uh, in case you don't know, the, normally the reclassic system is like, uh, you can only have about as many characters of a class as you have characters of that class normally. So if you have two Myrmidons, you can have two Myrmidons, and then plus one. So you can actually have three if you have two Myrmidons. But I guess right now everything just fight fits tightly into a slot. So I guess Lin is just useless. <laughs> I guess there Lin you go, just, okay. Never mind. I mean... Never mind, no value from pretty me. Pretty cool. I guess we could fix that. I, I didn't realize that you actually like changed the uh, class changing mechanics themselves. I thought you were just like playing as a as a self imposed restriction. You just wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, uh, it was actually disabled. Uh, in that case, I guess we get to bring someone else. Any any preferences? Any any favorites? Uh, somebody wanted us to bring Pelias. I remember this was. I mean, oh, yeah. by the time this video comes out, it'll have been like three weeks old. The comment, <laughs> but I remember some comment was looking at us like, "Why are these guys not using Pelias? He's so good. He's, He's really like good. amazing." All right, I'll give him some stuff. I think Lou is on the bench right now, so there you go. I'm gonna have Pelias back. Sure, why not? I'm gonna have two two good dark mages. Why not? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start by breaking open this uh, this archer room and going from there. I guess we should forge something. I was gonna forge the Manikati, but uh, I guess the next best thing is the rapier, right? I mean, it's not like Marcus so. is good. I mean, there's but... some horses. I guess. Yeah, there are a lot of horses. Yeah, many cowdies gone. Yeah, Marth is nowhere near close to one of KOing, so I'm just gonna make his rapier like a little bit stronger, like five. That should at least help with chip damage, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, an extra 15 attack on this. Mm -hmm. Should be alright. Like, <laughs> you know. Should be good. Uh, Small amount. Yep. Um, what do we even call this? I guess we can name it after a reference. Does it even fit? Regal... Re Regal Blade? Is it Regal Blade or Regal Regal, Regal Sword? Uh, you're talking about the FE7 Regalia thing, right? Uh, the FE9 one. The FE9, uh, the Ike weapon. Oh, crap. I don't know. I thought you were going to do, like, Rapier, but spelled, like, Ray, like, or Dark Mage. <laughs> the Rapier. Or... <laughs> uh, I was just called the Blade, whatever. Yeah, Regal Blade. 
Here we go. There we go. There In we memory go. of the FE7 sword that we lost. We name it after the FE7 sword, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. All right. Regal Blade has been forged. Let's see oh, we should name it Mini Cotty. What were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to get that back at some point. <laughs> I need to be able to distinguish between Mani Cotty and Mani Cotty. Okay. Uh, let's see if I got this right. So, Rosado with a Steel Lance can one round either of these archers. Uh, we cannot fly over fences for some reason, but we can fly over mountains because they made a fence higher than a mountain, I suppose. So I think the key is to use a key on the door, and then we can use Rosado to kill one of these, and then we can use like as many characters we want to kill the other guy. I guess the Steel Bow guy. Yeah, so... well the Bright guy is harder to kill, so we should probably use Rosado for that one. This one? But then there's also the mercenaries down below, right? I mean, yes. like, do we, do we know that we don't die to them? Yeah, if we make a nice little wall, we can prevent ourselves from dying to them. I just gotta make sure I do this right, so... I think Altena can hit him from here with the silver. I did test this out, but I forgot my exact maneuvers, so there will be some bloopers here. Mm -hmm. But at least like the, the preps and the positioning is right, yeah. So you, you have everything that you need to succeed. Yes. Theoretically, I could... If I was smart enough, I would not fuck this up. Theoretically. Silio stonks. And then... I think Oscar can finish. Like that. Does this actually work though? Now Rosado's in range of two. Well, yeah, but I don't like going for Oscar because he gets doubled. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go, yeah. So it That's should fair. be okay. Well, does he? Actually, 10 yeah. speed. Uh, well, maybe now he gets doubled by one. No, okay, gets no, he, he, no they have okay. some Brian's, of course. But we'll see. Uh, well, Rosado, you're up. Steel Lance. Check him out. Obligatory joke about how Archers are good against Flyers. We boxed them in, though. It's unfair. Yeah. Next hey, time we need to box in a flyer and then kill it with an archer. Oh, you got this. A longbow. I don't think you get that in vanilla. I think this is a change with the the patch that... Not the patch that Rav made, per se, but the... What's it called? Content? content patch. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no memory of that longbow, yeah. Does it even exist in the actual game? Like, not not that one, but, like, the bow itself. Uh, Certainly it yeah, must. Yeah, I want to say that you can get it through... Uh, the DS online shop, which I mean, it, it probably isn't online anymore as we speak, but it definitely existed at some point. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the, it says the, Archer the, Sniper. DLC, but yeah. The, the DLC, but not really DLC. Also, I'm not sure if Oscar is in range of two, but I think he just avoided his own death by dodging this hit. In range of the other as well. Is that the one yes. from the right or the one from the left? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. to go for all time anyway. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if Oscar was like in range of a kill, then he would have gone for Oscar, but we got never punished here. Good. And now we get to the hard part. I didn't show the white wings yet. I probably should at some point. Oh yeah, the white wing fires? Yes. They <laughs> like run right at us. Yes. Okay, so the upper ones are the generics. And in this game, uh, Pegasus Knights promote into Dragonets. You can really see that with their stats. Like they just both have 14 speed. And the Pegasus Knights are even slower actually because they weight down by their Steel Lance by one point. Uh, they got eight strength, but nine weight on their Steel Lance. So they have 13 and, oh, this one is even slower. This one is weighed down by two points, and he has one less point of speed, so he has 10 attack speed. So oh, really? they're coming at us. And this guy's the most dangerous one. I think he won rounds like half this team. Like, I think we can show up with Little Dana. Yeah, 16 oh. times two. He's he's scary. <laughs> run away! So I think we have to run, yeah. I think Rosado dies in one hit, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And oh, perfectly. Come Oscar on, Rosado. Will not survive either. So <laughs> I think I think Basilio can take the hit though, if we put him in range. This has to be no one. I think Har might be able to take the hits because weapon triangle. Yeah, Har can survive. Oh, he can, yeah. Not bad. So we could put Har or Basilio in range. I'm not sure which one is better. Give guess... Basilio the Forge, the Porthia, and just have him shoot him down, right? Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, once they're in our range, we have the Sword Hand, which is fire effective. We have the Porthia. We have, we have the other Porthia somewhere. Um, we have El Peleus as well, I guess. He doesn't do that much damage, but he's there. We have a Silver Axe can opener. Queen. Like The, the trouble is they're massive range. Uh, fortunately, the White Wings do not attack, so we don't have to worry about them too much, but there are two Pegasus right behind that will probably get on hard to reach spaces, so we want to be as close to the enemy as possible without getting wrecked, is my point, I guess. I don't remember the movement order. Um, yeah, I wasn't keeping track of that whatsoever, yeah. but, I mean, if we're just running out of their range, then the movement order shouldn't be relevant. Like, Yes, I think so. I was trying to think of something clever I could do with um, going in and out of range, or rather, how do I phrase this? Uh, baiting the Draco Knight into attacking someone somewhat fragile in the back and then maybe fighting the Pegasus Knights on any of his as well to make him come close to us, but I don't think it's happening. 
because we'd have to put someone in range of the Pegasus Knight. Let's see, they have 8 move, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so they actually reach this square. So if we put, like, let's say the District Knight moved first, and we put someone at the edge of his range, like all the way up here, that the Pegasus Knight can't reach, that'd be really cool. Let's, let's not try to be cool, let's, let's try to win. <laughs> let's actually try to... Survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's go out of range of this Pegasus Knight with everyone except... Or does the District Knight except for Basilio? And probably heal him as well. Although Har would be good. Ah, uh, we don't need the damage. We can we can leave Har in range of the Pegasus Knight if we want to. We yeah, we somehow need to continue scrapping with these mercenaries too. Like even that part's not done. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he is also kind of stopping us from taking that choke point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, but all all of our guys here can just outrun the mercs, right? So it should be fine. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. There's only mounts here. Julian has seven moves. These guys have seven moves. So yeah, we can just run away from them and then just take them all out in one fell swoop. So I guess we're doing that. So in that case, let's just have global ranges on. This is the edge of their range. So everyone outside of that is safe. So Odin should probably be semi close, so he can air caliber whoever he wants or X caliber, I guess. He probably thinks he can one round Odin, this Drake Knight. But I think Odin actually one shots him back. If we can do that, that'll look. Be really Twenty two cool. plus twenty six is something ending in an eight forty eight. Yeah, he has 39 attack, I want to say, plus magic, 39 and 48. Yeah, that uh, does one shot. Ooh, yeah. there we so go. I guess we should try that to give ourselves some extra space, but it, you can't be in range of mercs and these things. And this merc has yeah, one, but... two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's kind of bad. If you put him like, put someone besides him that does survive the mercs, so I guess we're okay. Or we could just put Odin in like south of Peleasa Square, right? Like we can just put him there because that's in range. Oh, true. You're right. Okay, let's do that. All right, Odin, you got this. And then... Yeah, and then the rest of us think I need to leave here. With, with games that don't have, you know, like X-ray ranges or whatever, I do generally tend to like moving my units away, like, or actually just figure out where they move and then like go ahead and put those squares in. But usually I just move Oscar. Like I would move Oscar out here first just to get the visualization to start updating as quick as I can. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Now Julian, I guess. I mean, we don't yeah, need to know Julian. we just move to move. Yeah. And Julian has, like, nothing left to do this map except, like, not be in range of mercenaries, so, like, we can just move him away. Yeah. I agree. Get back, get back, get back. Woo. Move away, Marth. Queen could probably take a hit from Mercs. He takes, like, five damage from each. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh, my goodness. This guy, how Which she could defend. Queen? 23 plus one for weapon triangle, 24, nine damage. Okay, she could survive a Merc and then the, the Draper Knight, crazy enough. Is there a square that uh, we can put Rosado where only one mercenary can attack him? Or no? I wonder. Because I mean, he doesn't die to mercs, right? No. So the way that would go, I guess, is you have the flyer thing highlighted. I don't think there's a way. Because if you look at the right screen, it's very tiny. But I think they over almost perfectly overlap here. Am I wrong? Or is there like something here? I don't think so. Yeah, I was looking for a choke point, but I don't think one exists. At least not one that's out of range of that wyvern. So. Okay, so the the flyer is not obstructed upwards, right? No. So. But it is. It's obstructed upwards by uh, our unit there. Yeah. Unless that's oh, I mean, not what you meant. Okay, so I didn't mean directly upwards, but like one to the right and then upwards. Like, this is global range. This is mm -hmm. without the merc range. So actually, if we put Rosado like between uh, Queen and Bartrade right now, I think Rosado's only in range of one Merc. Well, actually two Mercs, but he doesn't one round, so we could put him in range of one Merc, I guess. Yeah, well, he doesn't one round except 8% of the time he does. But... Yeah, yeah he, he one rounds the one that attacks first, <laughs> if it's this one, yeah. and then dies. Okay, we'll just put him out of range for now. Yeah, it seems like safer to just have him not engage anybody this turn. Absolutely. All right, go back Queen. Long term, but this is probably the hardest turn on this entire chapter until the reinforcements. All right, go wherever you want, wherever you are. Should be pretty nice. I don't know if anyone needs a heal except maybe Har, but yeah, I guess should we'll be right. for now. Get the HP back. Yep. So much, so much HP for this Makaya. Yeah, she's and almost there. I... Almost level ten. All right, let's go. Uh, let's, think we had to move Har? Oh, that's or Altana hard. rather. Yes. Yeah. The other oh. Draco, yeah. A throw. Well, I guess we get him back in there. Sorry, Nina. I forgot. I thought I removed her for some reason. I'm not used to having two yeah, Draco no. Knights. <laughs> My B. 
Uh, I kept I kept hearing you say like about horror. I thought like, ah, you moved. Uh, yeah, it was my fault too. I should have remembered it was all ten uh, out, not horror. That's my fault. Yeah. All right, let's get that back here. Can't let people know. All right, back in here. Let's see if we can uh, survive this time. It was a little bit of a different formation because things went differently, but the point is most things are the same except this time. Hopefully, we won't die. Yeah, we won't be able to bait the enemy Draco Knight this time, but mm -hmm. everything else should be fine. Yes. Yeah, we can good shit. Good shit. All right, flyers, come here. Oh, oh, oh those are the He's coming right out of white wings. Not white wings. Okay. The fake white wings. Fake white wings. Okay, so these three pegs are not a factor, nor is this Draco Knight, because that's fake Minerva. Ooh, they flew just outside of range of my bows, I'm pretty sure, which is probably intentional. So, whoever's here needs to take these hits, which is not good. But we can make like a bit of a wall to exclude the most dangerous enemies. And like, if you said a bunch of them are way down there, right? Like, yeah, they do not double out in that case. You're way down. No, you're not way down. You are way down. So this one is twelve, and this one is fourteen. Oof. They Big both difference. double Odin, or they both think they can double Odin. They're, they're dying in one hit, I'm pretty sure. Even with their slightly higher res, they have similar bulk to the Wyvern. How much bulk does Odin have? Uh, Not enough to survive two hits, I'm pretty sure. They have yeah, no. 20 attack. So 13 um, and 13, yeah, that kills. No, it's close, but it does kill. Um, just unfortunate. I guess what we can do is, because he survives... But does he have one? No, he gets doubled. So it's either he okos or he dies in one round. Yeah. So I think. But, I mean, be... he should oko on the counter, right? Yes, he does. But the problem is, if he does that, then he opens himself up to the next one. Unless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can use some of our fires to do some air-to-air -air combat, I guess. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, one's hey. dead. Yeah, one is dying. And since the fake ones don't attack. All right. Let's, let's send this, I guess, see if it works. We could save point and then, and then scum it, because like, what else is going to happen in this chapter? And with that save point, we have another one right down here. Yeah, exactly. We should be all right. All right. And also, yeah, I know. I, I was wondering if that square was going to be like dangerous, but as long as the person who's saving it doesn't die to a Pegasus, we should be all right. That's a good point. I almost didn't factor it in. Uh, I think Andreo is safe. He's really useful, but he's also like not... Actually, he's, 19. Not, he's he got dies. 19 HP. Hold up. I keep one shot. It's, it's not engaged yeah. Pandreo, it's engaged Pandreo minus his uh, class bases. Yeah, no. Um, uh, okay, so the, the bottom one is dying, which is the one with less speed. So whoever goes here has to survive 20 attack, hitting twice, probably. Unless they're fast. Which, uh... Let's guess... just do, like, a uh, Marth? Can't Marth do that? Uh, he has 10 no. speed, so unfortunately... He does. Let's see, 20 attack. Okay, I was thinking maybe unequipping would help here, but no, it does not. No, it doesn't change a thing. Attack, I guess Queen is the one, then. Gold Mary? Not sure thing. All right, Queen. Save it. And then Rosado. Gotta get that one hit, one round kill on this Pegasus Knight. You don't die in one hit, do you? No, you don't. Okay. No. Goodbye. <laughs> is there another Draco or no? Uh, there is, but she doesn't attack. So this is the okay, Draco. Okay, yeah. Thing. Another, another like real Draco. Yes. Then, yeah, but... All right, Dorothy. That's getting... hey, is Dorothy fine being here? No, right. No, Dorothy hella dies. We need Lucilio, I think. Yeah, meet Basilio. Yeah, so Odin's is. fine. Oh, Odin is fine. Uh, any of our, yeah, any of our fires are fine. These guys are good. Yeah, I don't think Basilio wants us with the steel. So he would have Basilio to use might be needed for a merc though, or I don't know. Yeah, that's possible too. So let's just use Odin because he doesn't die to well anything now. Oh, I almost got you good pranking with Pelias. You can. Uh... Pelias survives a peg. We can kill a merc with him, but I don't think he does. I think he has similar bulk to Odin. Rare sentences, I know. All right, Odin Dark, level up. The level. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, evil just, level. Don't tell me he tanks two hits now. Nah, he just barely dies. It's perfect 12 by 2 now. Oh, no. Okay, well, if Dorothy stays where she is and we keep her behind the lines, we can probably get this Merc kill on her, right? Probably. 100 hit. It looks like it. Goodbye. See ya. And then I guess Basilio on the other one. Maybe from Oscar Square. I'm not sure if Oscar's like good here. Maybe yeah, who's gonna make up the wall? Can we like highlight this Pegasus range so that we know like what to expect? I'm gonna go. Yes. I think Bartra survives <laughs> one round, so he can stay where he is. Uh, Marth needs to evacuate for sure. We can move him like 
anywhere that's not there. Oh, I guess. What is the thief? That's the. We're good, we're good. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's the, the mercenary. Spoilers. I didn't see it. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, the thief. That's like one of my main nitpicks about this game. The enemies that don't attack, like the thief and that um, fake Minerva. The ranges do get highlighted. Okay, so if you heal Oscar, you could like go here and jab here. It'd be fine. Like Makaya behind to mend them up. And we still have Bartra and all the Wyverns to do this with. Because actually, yeah. oh, is Dorothy even in range? No, right? No, she isn't. What the hell? We, we can push the wall. Yeah, because the fence oh. is there. <laughs> Get wrecked by the fence, friend. Yeah, we can actually make kind of a diagonal wall going like up and to the left from Rosada's position. Uh, Rosada's position. Well, do we need to? Or we could just wall off the, the rest of the fence as well, right? Yeah, but do we but here's the thing: can we just fly people can Har and the other guy can Har and the other guy just kill the Pegasus or no? The other uh, guy being Altena. Damn, he has a name, you know. Uh, <laughs> She's not horror. I think so. They have to hit though, but I guess uh, we're it's kind of dicey. I mean, we have the save point, right? Like, yeah, I mean, how bad can it be? All right, that's, that's probably easier. Let's let's do an offensive approach. I would like level up some Altena. Uh, so steel axe is ninety. And then Iron Axe for 83 or Silver 83? 83. 83. Golly. I would like to beat the kill to Altena because she has better growth, so let's do R. I agree, let's do it that way. <laughs> they have that pause that make me think it's a crit every time. Yeah. <laughs> They're like really slow and dramatic animations. I don't think she needs a heal before getting ships down here, but we should be fine. Yeah, no. no I don't yeah, think she needs Might as well, right? True. What else is Pendra here gonna do? Alright, get it, Altena. I think she's about to level up. Up here at 80 XP or something? Oh, yep. she did a. Yeah, true. She did kill a permitted enemy last time, I think. <laughs> no, it's such a terrible level. That's awful. What the heck? She has more than 100 HP growth. No. All right, next chapter we're gonna say like we want to get these kills to Hara. Like we use Altena to chip and Hara will get the kill. There we go. <laughs> Look, He's we way still better. Have the save point. Look. Oh, no, Change. no. <laughs> right. Fate can be changed. I challenge my fate. All right, I'm gonna set up a trade with Julian and the Vasilio so we can one shot something with the Porthia with him. Hey, that's a nice formation you guys got there. Okay, raisins. Uh, I I'm gonna have to kill them for EXP. There's there's no other way around it. I need EXP. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to show them who they are. I mean, I, I guess if I just kill them very fast, you won't see. But you might as well just reveal them now because I'm gonna do it accidentally if I don't. Um, okay. Okay. So, oh, so you're you're just revealing them now and saying this is this is them. This, this is who they them. are. Yes, They're I gonna just, die. This is okay. Them. Okay. I actually don't know which one is which. Uh, any guesses? Oh, uh, oh, for the not all of them hmm. changed. I'll tell you that much. Not all of them. Are they all flyers? Yes. Okay. Not They're all, all flyers. Changed. Okay. So Marsha's got to be one. I bet one of them's Florina. Got to have Farina too. I mean, somebody's somebody's a Farina fan out there. And the last one, gosh, I don't know, Ingrid. I'll say Ingrid. What about the Wyvern? Oh, the Wyvern. Shoot, you're right. Uh, sheesh, I forgot. Give me a hit, male or female? Female. Female? I just realized it like, doesn't narrow it down. That only excluded like 10% of the flyers, I think. Um, 3DS Fire Emblem. 3DS? Oh, Camilla. Easy. Come on. You were close. You were really close. Oh, OK. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> At least <it's> <laughs> <there. laughs> Uh, Elisa, though, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And 20 look. Okay, well, sheesh. Well, yeah, we'll get into the stats when we actually recruit her, but uh, yeah, she's here. Uh, okay. All right, all right, let me see which one this is. This is Pala. This, this is Pala. Pala. Unchanged. Unchanged. Okay, okay. Pala. Unchanged Pala. Everyone wanted Pala. We got to compare them to Pala. Gotcha. <laughs> Est. What? And. Est. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Wait, wait. What's the difference between Est and Est? <laughs> one of them is from FE1. <laughs> well, well, no, but like their stats. Like, are their stats any FE1 different? FE1 is better. <laughs> FE1 Est is better? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Est propaganda. All right, Look I at think, this garbage. I think if you kill Minerva, then um, they, they all leave. leave. So I got to kill Minerva at least last. So get out of here with Pella. See you. See you. You need the EXP on these guys. We could have been pacifist. What if we just went without the EXP? Yo, wait, never mind. It's Rosado. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Gotta get Rosado to level 10. Uh, Basilio. 
looking at the fourth yeah, see what his prospects are. I think they leave at some point, but not like right this turn. So fourth yeah, one of them here. Yeah, I remember I didn't kill these guys. I just like knew that they left. So I'm like, well, okay, I guess we'll never see that. Well, so much for that. I guess I'll try to kill the thief because he's kind of in my way. Gosh, Oscar is so useful. I didn't expect his bulk to stand out so much this playthrough. Chipping thief, yeah, no, like nice. right at the start, I said that was pretty good bulk, but how good is it going to be really? And like, quite fine, also. Hey, Wait, Dorky. 50 EXP for that? Sheesh. Yeah, thieves give boosted EXP in this game, just like most games. Uh, the fourth guy's on that guy. I guess we might need him to one shot uh, Minerva slash Elise. I guess I'll try to work on the Shadow Dragon Est. Chipping with Har. Yep. And then killing with Altana. You need to learn your lesson. Come on. Watch. It'll go it'll go well this time. No, it won't. I don't have faith in Altana anymore. We used to one use lamps. It's gone. It's fine. It turns out that was actually the road to freedom for her. That's her road what? to self-actualization. Why didn't you have that oh, nice bar tray? Is your mic okay? You sound lower than before. Do I sound lower? Uh oh. Um, maybe if it's like a real issue. I mean, or you just turned me up. I don't know. I'll Nothing's changed with it. Bit. I think. Okay. It sounded like you were like slightly further away. Hold up one second. Maybe I was just speaking more softly. Okay, here we go. Now you've got me self-conscious about my own volume. It's uh, like what voice discipline or something. All right. And, uh, Kill everyone asked Dorothy. Don't worry about it. Next episode, I'll come in and just be booming. <laughs> All right, bye, fake Catria. Good Catria. And that leaves one more soldier here. Get him, Basilio. The Portia kill on 22 HP Elise. How could you? I gotta get it down to one use. I gotta prove Those it. Those looked like her stats that she would have if you... Oh, okay. Maybe not exactly her stats if she were immediately reclassed into Wyvern, but like pretty close to it. That's yeah. pretty much what, that, what this concept was, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, well yeah. Done. you guessed it. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, well, now... well, that's like... Half the map done. Not yep. bad. Go us. Yes, let's go. And now we need to get to the bottom of this. Investigate. And uh, most of all, visit the village, I suppose. So, Raisin, tell us these reinforcements. How do they work? Yeah, they so the second half of the map does have some reinforcements. When you enter, uh, or when you cross a line, a bunch of calves will appear. The line is... Let's take our cursor. Uh, it is that line. Yes, it is that line. If you are at or below that line. So if you were to like press A right now, you would trigger the reinforcements. But if you go up by one, then you don't trigger the reinforcements. Brilliant. And it just goes like expands across like the entire horizontal of the map, right? Exactly. Yeah. There's no there's no bendy part to it. All right. Let's get our flyers in position then. Have some cheese. Uh, Martin gets get this village anyway. Let's go over here and I wish I could highlight the reinforcement zone. That'd be really nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again. You just have to remember it. Shout out to Tyrion Saga for letting you put flags on the map so you can see everything you need to see. Whatever you want. Put like a little horizontal line of four flags on the map, and you're all good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your own markers. Those are pretty fun to do whenever I played that game. Uh, Har is right, or I think it's right above the line. I did it too. Uh, so That's right, this yeah. Is fine. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. And I know that these calves, individually, they're not much of a threat, but I think it's two waves over two turns right after you cross that line, and they're ambush enforcement. So it's really, if someone is in range of all of them, they're probably going to die. Yeah, they are ambush. Wad says uh, three groups, but each group is um, every other turn. Oh. So it's like a wave of four, and then time off, a wave of four, time off, and then a wave of four. Oh, and that's swear. what it said. Okay, well, that makes it easier. All right. You know, maybe Wad is wrong. Who knows? Mm -hmm. It's never happened yet. All right, this character's not replaced, unfortunately, so I won't suffer. I won't make you suffer through guesses and then be wrong. What? Bantu sucks. Unfortunately. What? Come on, dude. Bantu the goat. Hey. It's not like Effie. It's not like next game. Ne okay, next game Bantu sucks. This man, this Bantu is pretty sick though. You see? He doesn't yeah, have to tell me cool. how much his defense is. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you. His defense is pretty good. I remember. I remember yeah. he was like he was scrapping for like several maps after this point. I, I mean, on hard five. Yeah, on hard five. It's fine. Know. I I don't remember exactly how bad he is. I just remember that being kind of excited when I got him, and then 
be like, oh, this guy still gets one-rounded by everything because 20 HP is too low and four speed gets doubled by everything. Well, I think like maybe it's just that the next few maps are like kind of full of weak enemies, but I, however much his defense was, I remember he was like actually totally fine for like, a few we'll maps. But him. I mean, yeah, well, I guess. Mm -hmm. If we bring him and he's like, wow, there's actually atrocious and raisins, you're wrong, then the worst that happened is I like pranked you for one map, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when the, when the Cavs show up, we can see what his performance would be like, I guess. Well, not really, because we can't see his defense. Okay, uh, let's move closer for one more turn and figure out... I kind of want to block some reinforcements, but I also want to get EXP, so I think we can find a bit of a delicate balance here. Uh, I guess we can heal Hina real quick. Andrea, oops, that's Dorothy. It's fine. Oh no, we healed Dorothy. No. Anyway. We were trying to get her in, like, Wrath range or something on her. <laughs> That'd be great if this game had Wrath. It would probably be a bit OP, because you can spend so much time getting one code and still kill everything. If you just position well. Level 10 Micaiah! Oh, Ooh. we're saving that level up. Magic Walk Reds. <laughs> yeah, please. I'm saving that level. Magic Walk Reds, the Micaiah level. Yes. So if I throw down Har... Oh, I have to be a little bit to the right. Yeah, we need a slightly more space. I think here. I'll definitely block that fort and maybe one more. Because normally you only have one flyer in Cedar. Maybe like a reclassed unit could go Pegasus Knight. You can block two. Like, you could reclass with Lena, I guess. You don't get any uh, female units early on in Shadow Dragon, I think. It's like Norn, Lena, that's it. Yeah, Cena, Cena, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, but like, yeah. But she's, she's I guess if you, like, change Jake into a Wyvern, then he can block, but... Oh, yeah, true. That's something he can do for sure. Uh, I guess, or Wendell, in that case, yeah. Um, okay, so you can make it onto that four. In that case, we block three out of four. That's a little too easy, though. Too yeah, too few EXP. Well, if, if we block, like, one... If we block like all but one for one turn, and then next turn we can open it up a little bit more because we have like control of the spaces. Or yeah, yeah, once we're like in position, we could just throw Altena here in front of the fort, and then there's just a cab for for the taking next turn. Oh, true. Because he wouldn't be able yeah. to move out, right? Because this is all terrain. Like Altena's here, peak. Yeah, he can't move away from this. <laughs> He's trapped. So we can throw Bart right here. These guys have javelins, I think, so we can't hammer them on any phase, unfortunately. We could put him here. And then also, I guess if we had to redo this, what I could do is I could put like Odin here or something. And then Odin could. Well, he doesn't wander on them. He doesn't have enough magic or enough speed to double. But he could still like counter them, right? Like that's yeah. more damage yeah. than this strategy currently deals to them. Yeah, alternatively, I think the Armonites won't move, even if we reinforce with spawns. Oh, so, really? They just don't. Wait, what? Oh, we chose the wrong time. Yes, we sure did. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. We'll improvise around it. It's fine. It's only two calves for one turn, right? Like, if what you said is accurate, you have nothing to fear, Ravens. There will be any enemies. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Or rather, there will be one cav that can attack us this turn, and that's the guy from the fort. The problem is that we can't really get into his range or fight him well. Oh, he has a javelin. That's annoying. <laughs> it doubles bar tray. <laughs> All right. Easy peasy. All right, Altana can do this for another turn. Such much Rider's Bane. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary. That's, that's going to be not fun for Oscar. Okay, so theoretically, we can kill these guys this turn, and, they, and another wave won't show up, right? Uh, that's what Wad said. Okay, let me let me double check what Wad said, actually. Yeah, I don't know if I trust Wad on this, because I remember getting overwhelmed by him this turn, but... Leaving a period of one turn between groups of reinforcements. Yeah. That's what it said. Well, what we can do is uh, glue factor them twice. Like, we can glue factor like this. Just like that, that's a good hit. Do a trait chain, so that Oscar can get the other one. That's right, and like the Rider's Bane is locked in by Altena, right? So we should be right. Yes, that's the idea anyway. Uh, so I would like that glue factor, please. You can have my, uh, my Devil Axe. The no, Devil Axe, we need that weapon. Whoa. Guns, man. We take the counter, watch out. It'll be fine, it's Basilio. He has like 20 more counters to take. And we can Porthia or... Can't make we can it. devil axe, yeah, except we traded it away. <laughs> we do have like other ways to do this. Down, oh, sword hand. Down. Effective damage versus cow? For sure. Everyone knows sword hands are effective against calves. Sword hands effective against everything, though. It's true. Effective it's against true. infantry. That means horses, apparently. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get Har in here. I guess we can chip this uh, this priest or not. Get Lance Rank or not? Priest. Free. Yo, true. Grind Lance Rank. And 
Altina can evolve, so she doesn't have to do that later. Do we get Micaiah in, like, or the rest of our guys in here? Because we are walling off this bottom four, like, pretty well, so we can probably afford to yeah, I don't just think I get into their territory. Drooling away from that. <laughs> yeah, he's on the save point, right? He's contributed. He can get yes. the lore house on a thing. Uh, Bantu can go shopping. Bantu, Bantu stuff. can, I don't know. I can't think of a pump for that. There's a, he's not Arter. Bantu can do, um, that's as far as I can go. And that's, Bantu right. can, that's not even a pun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's it's more creative than what I came up with, which is nothing, so <laughs> I'll give it to you. Got him. <laughs> oh, okay, Wad, Wad lied? Wad lied. Oh, he's here too. Ooh. I, I'm surprised he's going for that and not Rosado. Like, what? They see the combined kill, I guess, I don't okay. know. Probably. Maybe. That would be really insane, because they usually don't. No, Wad conspired against us. It's true. That means there's another wave upcoming next turn, too. I think so. I must say I lied about the number of waves, too. Ooh, he's no fine. Way he gets doubled, right? yeah, he's no way fine. he gets doubled. He's not Barche. Oh, easy, right. easy. Good thing Har was on the last board. Jeez. Yeah, no, that was close. All right, we got to get... Hmm. I think hmm. if we kill everything here, Rosado can get to the last four and block it. Probably. Can he? He doesn't have a... If he can't do it from here, then he oh, can't do it at all. Altena? Rosado can True. do it from Altena, and then... They, like, switcheroo, crisscross? Yeah. Where's my rider's been? Oh, doesn't... Don't need <laughs> we it. We don't need it. Well, we do need it because another one is going to spawn next turn, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the blue factor is on the So we could trade it back and then do nothing, probably. Uh, Bartray opens one of their cans. That's my only hammer that I can use this turn. So the other one would have to be killed by a combined attack somewhere. But if we block all the forts, it shouldn't matter. In fact, we could yeah, just, we should just be able to kill them. We could even not attack with Rosado, because then yeah, and just, just fight, block the calf four turn basically. But if we kill and we hit, we're really good. <laughs> we get more XP that way. Yeah, no, another kill on Rosado should be good. Um, but if we. I mean, let's just start trying to work on these kills here, right? I think the further away would probably be harder to kill, so I think we just can't open that with Bar Chain. One thing we can do as well is we can get Har involved, because Har, like, yeah, sure, that opens up the fort, but the, the cab doesn't move as far as Har does, right? So mm -hmm. That is true. He only has nine move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, whoever goes there just has to be surviving a cab. And I guess he can hammer the other guy if necessary. Uh, he can make it to the upper armor knight, so yeah, we can have Har as a reserve option. Yeah, yeah, we can... We, yeah. I was thinking maybe hammer from the left, and then that way Hara could trade. I think we might be in range of the cab that spawns if we move Hara off the fort now, but I'm not actually certain. Oh, speed, though. But we got speed. And does that rank double? Axes. Gaming. A rank axe? What? I mean... Does the guy double us now? Wait, how much speed does the cab have? <laughs> like nine? Ten? Nine? Ten? Ooh. Yeah, ten. ten yes. So, well, boy, it's getting doubled. Good job. Great job. Uh, are good? The blue factor being here is not terrible. But if we trade it to someone here to kill this calf, then I don't think it's possible to get it back to Rosado and kill the other calf. Yeah, we don't have, like, convoy down here, so... Man, if only we had Lin with the Manikati here, eh? That'd be pretty handy. We don't have an armor slayer, I don't think. Uh, I think Andrea won around armor knights. Yeah, they also won on him, though. Yeah, no, also that's the issue. Around, but other than that, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Doesn't die in one hit. Might die to a calf coming out of the fort if we go for that route. Maybe it's more urgent that we kill this guy than this guy with the blue factor. But we do need someone to block that fort and block the bottom fort. So we have to move Rosado away no matter what. But maybe that yeah, we just... keep the blue factor here for Oscar to use on this guy. And we just have Rosado go to this fort and just sit there for a turn. And just in front, yeah, we lose out on the kill, but like, so be it. Yes. We should be fine. Yes, okay, let's do that. So Altana goes here, and bones. So Rosado can go here, and like, we could attack here, but then we risk dying if we... No, we, we just die, period. If we hit all our attacks, we die here if we attack, so we just don't attack. Right? Yeah, if everything hits. I mean, I guess we could Physic, but that seems kind of not wise. Why don't we just focus on killing this cat first? Yeah, I'm also not sure if this takes a lot of range, because we'd have to heal 15 damage, I think. Oh, we need, yeah, we need to heal a lot. Okay, no, never mind. Mm, assuming the other guy's the same attack, we need to be at 14 HP or well above. I don't know how much is on I guess we can check that on Basilio. It's really good for that. Wait, hold on a minute. Can you... Or we heal 12. 
Can you scroll up a bit? Okay, no, never mind. We can Physic twice with Mikaya and Pendriodo. If we really want to. If it re Let's figure out this uh, Cabin Armonite first. Yeah, because... so... Uh, I think Cilio just does, like, nothing this turn. It's, like, super useful. Uh, and then to get to... Uh, get the thing to Oscar. Get the uh, Glue Factor to Oscar. Oscar one-shots the Cav. Then all we have to do is figure out a way to kill this Armonite. With, like, we Elias could. plus Andre Andre or Elias plus Odin or something. We could have Odin take the Glue Factor and then... Ooh. I like that. That frees up Cilio to do well. Probably still nothing, but it's better than what I had before. Yeah. I Let's see. Cav might not come if Art can stay here now, which I think he can. I think so too. Yeah. Then yeah, Odin should be safe. Okay, so let's try that. So we can see if he crits too this way, which is also nice. All right, Sword Hand. Down, Sword Hand. All right, it looks like a regular hand to me. Oh. The dodge. Whoop. The dodge. Oh, yeah. That's what. The, that's the power. That's the the fell power hidden within. Now we just check if this hits right. Because it's oh like, sure yeah. If this doesn't hit, we're kind of screwed anyway. Yeah. All right. Factor in some glue. Ooh. They didn't factor this in. Yeah. Oh boy. Factor this. Okay. So Rosado is going to go away soon. Uh, this means that Andreo goes for the kill or Pelias. Honestly, Pelias is safer. Nice. Yeah, Pelias is much better for this. Fire. Everyone knows Pelias uses fire. I feel like Pelias used fire is what, like, one of those game brands, like, clickbait AI written websites would write, like, Pelias is really good at using fire. <laughs> Use fire to kill enemies. He is magical, so he hits some resistance, which is lower. Yeah, he, he hits some resistance, which is lower, and it's effective against the beast the goose, goose in 4 yeah. 5, yeah. In 4 5, yeah. <laughs> in 4 -5, yeah. Uh, so he uses sit here. I mean, we can do the physical maneuver now because we know we don't longer need it. We just make sure that the fort stay covered, which I do. So we can. Oh, do true. Can effect. we get the glue factory over there? Or... Oh no, we don't even need that. For no, this. but we also we physics. Physics. Yeah, but I mean, what can go wrong here? I guess is if we miss. If then, we uh, then he's fine because he blocks the reinforcement. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess do the worst case iron or no? physics uses. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but I think we get another one. Either we already got one or we get another one soon, so I'm not... Do we want to Iron Knights instead? Oh, I guess that was more accuracy, huh? Yeah, I should have done that. I didn't, I didn't remember the might, though. Yeah, I think my plan initially with the Steel Lance was like, if I uh, miss, I want to do more enemies on enemy phase, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get 4 healing, right? But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the Iron Lance is actually better, you're right. So heal back to 15. I mean, if the enemy rolls up on attack, he's going to get killed, so we should probably heal him again. Yeah, we can actually use that staff, right? Yeah, we got C. We got C. Okay. C is uh, good. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yep. No, did good. we check the staff rank? I did check that, fortunately. And by check, I mean I memorized it and hope it was accurate. Alright, so you're all done doing stuff. This is it, right? I don't have to move anyone else. Just yeah. you know, you sit here and throw javelins for fun. Throw javelins at the priest. The unarmed priest. How rude of us. The emphasis on unarmed is so funny to me. It's like, this yeah. is an unarmed person. Are you sure you want to attack? Like, is, is yes. this what you actually want to do? Oh, <laughs> now no I want to do it even more. No cap? Wait, no cap? Is no there water. is there a gap here? Maybe Ward was right about this turn specifically. Well, I mean, I guess we kind of got to sit here and find out now. I know. Uh, now we have to know. We wasted two physics. It's the worst <laughs> case scenario. <laughs> no. <laughs> load to save. Load to save. Maybe, well, we can open this can over here. This guy's Whoa. not too range either. When are the bosses gonna figure this out? Like, you know, maybe we should be arming our like commanders. <laughs> it's funny because range. I'm pretty sure some of them earlier did figure that out, and then they just kind of stopped. Yeah, like Hyman, and that's it. Covered, yeah, Hyman was ahead of his time. Hyman was ahead of his time, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dorothy is on the fort, so you guys can move and uh, fight this one boss. We have the reinforcements sorted. Oh, there is one. Okay, there so Wad was right about that one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's the worst kind of information that's right sometimes. <laughs> right sometimes and wrong sometimes. Yep. Now the question is, is there going to be another wave? No, right? It's like the like the two sphinxes who one always tells the truth and one always lies, right? Yeah. Just like that. Wait a minute. We really should have like moved one of our guys west here. I was like, oh yeah, a real skill. Yeah. I mean, we can or, fly no, up the, here with the, the healers. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like one of the healers. 
Oh, yeah. Then we could just like heal and fight Absolutely. and continue doing this. Okay, but I can't have anyone move in range of this just in case Watt is double wrong. To Unless Altana goes there. Seven, eight, nine. So like Dorothy should probably stay and not die. Actually, maybe Marth should sit on this board for a turn. Altana could just walk in front of it too, right? So. Oh, yeah, true. I guess that's better. Just do this so that he doesn't go in a fort anymore. Yeah, I like this. And then yeah, someone else and then... sits there. We play musical forts, I guess. Yeah, musical forts. <laughs> Alright, Odin, enjoy your free experience. Harmine. Man. Harmine. Shadow Dragon boss is not the most memorable ones, I gotta admit. What? What? He's wrong. Oh. 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 Everything went magic. Blessed Odin. Reclass him. He's allowed to reclass, right? To what? To Myrmidon, of course. <laughs> yeah. You want another Myrmidon? Uh, no, okay. Now that you put it that way. <laughs> this guy's wrong. Okay. Har mine. Har is ours. It's not his. <laughs> uh, I always think this guy can use the silver axe, but he cannot. He uses bows and lances like all generals in this game. So we need to sit here and laugh. True. Uh, Moving Marth for some extra accuracy. Which I think I haven't really been able to show off, but that does help now. I've confirmed that some people from the early game have built up Marth supports. I mean, with Bartray, I mean, we've, we've been deploying him every map. So. Yeah, but he's, been, he's always been here for me. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that I can get this kill or something on the priest. Hey! Another one. wave or what? Uh, yes, that is wave number four. <laughs> Yo, exactly. So, what was also wrong about the number of waves? Boom! <laughs> yeah, these Traitors websites. everywhere. Hey, yeah, you got it. You gotta trust us. Watt is good like most of the time, okay? Like nine percent of the time Watt hit Watt hits every time. Yeah. Watt has two RN information accuracy. <laughs> I'm curious if the wiki's wrong as well, or if it's just Watt being dumb. Ooh, Dorothy kill? Potentially. If dot org wiki? I could check. Yeah. I mean not any wiki really. Uh Andreo. Be one of those times where fandom wiki's right. I'd be so sad. Wad, get your shit together. It's happened a few times. It, it definitely has. There's zero percent chance that it hasn't. All right, steel bow it is. Goodbye. A rank bows coming in clutch. And I'm gonna heal on Pandreon or Nikaya. Um, Wait, can you show the name in this chapter real quick? Leaf Candid Gauntlets. Gauntlets, I see. Thanks, thanks. I had it wrong. I thought it was Gambit. It's Leaf Candy. I don't know what else to tell you. Leaf Candy. All right, War Crime this man. <laughs> <laughs> the way he just runs up to them with his axe is so funny. Like he just slices this, from bottom to top, right? This massive like plastic axe. He just it's like so <laughs> goofy. It looks like it's made of rubber. Yeah. All right, Let's seize this one because uh, did, uh, did you check the thing? The reinforcements or? Yes. Yeah. Is it loading? Uh, I'm looking at it now. It's a big page. With at I'm least looking. one turn between the appearance of the last reinforcement group and the triggering of the next. Yeah, so they also said that there's a turn gap between them. They all copy pasted SMH, plagiarism. Well, I don't know who the original was, so but yeah. <laughs> they they all plagiarized. And yeah, every they, they all did not, not only did they plagiarize, they're also all wrong. But only the thing MC is the Escher could draw this circle plagiarism. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, though, is like I don't, I can't actually go in and fix it because I don't actually know what it does. <laughs> you know, we haven't really, we haven't really tried hard enough. I mean, you're investigating. File? <laughs> sure, I have like the save file. Yeah. Anyway, something, something, Medius, uh, exposition, etc. Uh, next time it's chapter eight. We're gonna have a very funny unit join the next chapter that I'm really looking forward to. Two funny units actually that uh, I think a lot of people will like. Not a whole lot of well, not. I don't think we had no replacements in this one other than the the white wings. But uh, we'll look at them in, in more detail when they actually join in chapter fourteen. I want to say it is the one where you uh, have all those hallways. Um, but first, we have the port chapter to go through uh, with good old Roger and Rad and Caesar replacements. So look forward to it. We will see you next time. See you next time.